Good night, good night, good night. Good night. And I'm back again, people. I'm back again, I'm back again. We just turned them out all the food. Belly full now, thank God for that. I want to say good night, good night, good night. I hope you have a wonderful night tonight. And God be with you and your family. Don't take nothing for granted. Every day you wake up is Christmas. Every day you wake up is your birthday. Don't you ever take life for granted. All right? This is what I want to say to you. And on the young girls, and some on the mama, one on the girl pit and then go to go breed. And then young, when I make a scale, they're going to have a bastion. Make the children, make them have them first child. Do not, make them have no abortion. Make them have them first child. Because if they're going to have the first, the second, and if they're going to have the last. So what do them bless with, make them do it and done. Nobody got to take an abortion. For example, when I was young, you know, and I was living with my sister, right? Because my granny tried to take me running from my granny. Yeah, man. Granny tried to take me up, up with my there. And I go home with granny. Granny said, I'm going to put peas on the fire for my rice and peas. I put on the peas. Then we go to the bathroom. I lock the bathroom on the inside and climb through the bathroom window. And I run away and gone. She think me in the toilet and I'm gone. So my sister come and get me live with my sister. And one day, here yeah, one young man I called my sister. And my sister said, Chop two jelly can't come give me now. And she carried the in carried the jelly con gear. When he walk up now he see me now and he said, What a nice young lady this is, who is she? My sister turned to her and said, That's my younger sister. He said, I really like her, you know, also. And he carried the jelly, he gave me jelly and he picked chat and he gone. He come back the next year, he didn't start to hang around. So then he said to my sister, I can't carry her out. I can't carry on a road man, we go watch a movie, we can go watch a movie also. So I can't be down the road man and watch a movie and we buy jerk chicken and same thing. And cross over a river in a night, we come up and drop me off. And so me and him start to date. And we start to hang out. You see? And so one day I get up and I wasn't feeling good and I got a spring for catch water. And I see him and I see him and I think I'm pregnant. And he say, girl, I'm mad, yeah, man. That time I never know too much about pregnancy. But I feel like something was wrong. Anyway, a telegram come to my sister. I forgot about my grandmother come sick from England. And she pregnant and she couldn't go. So she said, make sure she send me. When me send me to Ghana Gutters, I'm reaching the Gutters there, you see. May I tell you when I reach down there, you know. And I reach in the house, I want pretty house, you know. The big screen TV and flush toilet and all this, it I never used to. And I got a Spanish town hospital. They show me if I take the bus to my uncle to go visit my grandmother. So I take the bus to Spanish town hospital and care for fear and so on and visit her and so on to tell she come back home but she never walk again she'd have diabetes real bad because she used to bake a lot of wedding cake and she taste them yes yeah, she used to bake a lot of wedding cake and do a lot of wedding like a wedding planner where you want to call it she was a nice woman a nice black pretty black woman yeah and that was my father and mother and so she did it down there i did take care of her take care of her she used to call me Yvette until she died and that day when she died you see she died around 12 o'clock. I mean, I tell her around 7 o'clock, then take for come for the body. The place start to smell one way around, start to smell a way nasty. May never forget the smell of death. It's a terrible smell. They never come till about 7 o'clock. The body in the house, the day in the body. We go to the water, we couldn't turn the house to the body no more. So we go to the water now. Because it start to smell funny. It have a funny smell. You know, death have a crazy, crazy smell, me tell you. So anyway, I saw that go. And then bury her. And and I saw no just before she did dead. Just before she did dead, you know. Me end up getting sick and getting sick. The time I got Spanish tone go visit her. My uncle said to me, why are you getting sick so all the time? You know, your bobby them getting big. Are you pregnant? Are you still a virgin? I said, Yes, sir, I'm still a virgin, sir. He said, Well, your bobby them getting big, you look like you're pregnant. I said, No, sir. He said, do you know what it means to be a virgin? You know what I'm asking you? I'm asking if any boy put anything downstairs there. I said, no, son, I'm not put nothing downstairs, sir. I'm a virgin, son. So I write him left it at that. And I start to have morning sickness. Then we start to take sick bad. 
And I say, well, man, my uncle get up, you know. And he make a pot of cabbage just steam cabbage with bully beef and a big bread. And you know me like for near my clothes. And round the table when he left me and tell me to go and I will have to come back. I fall asleep and I don't touch the food. I saw him also sitting there wrong and he come back and carry me to the doctor. Take taxi care me out there. And I couldn't walk to the doctor, you know, man. But when I go to the doctor's office and the doctor said this woman is six, six weeks pregnant. I couldn't believe when I thought about six weeks pregnant. And she's in shock. And my uncle said, doctor, it can't be. This girl is a virgin. This girl is a virgin. And the doctor said, I'm positive that you're pregnant, but I'm going to double check. And he put me up on the chair and double check. And trust me, when he see her pregnant, I fly to that doctor's office when I need no taxi for reach home. I run my run straight home and I know where my strength from. And go up under the bed, go hide and my uncle come in. Because he was from England, you know. And he come and shove the broomstick. Oliver, get out here. Get out here. Yeah. I want to speak with you. Get out of here. You got to talk to me. Come and talk to your uncle. I'm a big man. I ain't no fool. And he attack and he attack and talk. So tell me finally, come up and he went. And he said, you know what? I'm telling you, you're going to have this child. And he called my father. My father said, money for your abortion and everything. When he's supposed to come and get abortion, he claimed the next day. He told me, say, no, nah, I can't run away. He ain't going to make me have the baby. Because that might be my first child and my last child. And believe me, I'm sick like a dog. I'm sick like a dog. I tell you, if you go through with it and sick me in the Spanish town hospital time over time, high blood pressure. So tell them, tell me, say the baby, it look like it's going to hurt me. The baby, I get so big in my stomach. All kind of same thing happened to me. I was bleeding. All kind of something that happened to me, you see. And they said, I might have got the baby out, but God, it me struggle too. I mean, almost till the nine months, we in and out the hospital, in and out the hospital. Okay. And when she died and they buried her, and I moved, I go to Buff Bay Hospital. I Buff Bay, I just stayed with my mother, my mother, church sister, for look over me. She wants me to stay close to me. And then I end up in the Buff Bay Hospital. And then I end up with my baby father supposed to pass every day. Every time I pass Buff Bay, I come to the hospital and ask me how I do, and how I feel. Right, because I'm here, say. And next man, me that breed for nothing, I go so. And he not say nothing. And I saw me end up have my son. And when me have my son, me end up going to Spanish town back and my cousin them go live. And then me come to country after my son a couple of months and my son start to step up and I walk. I guess it's going about a year. When the papa see me and see me with my son, the Bible square me, run down and grab him. And say, look how my son dead stamp on me. So to him, say, I never miss his son and you see so. But anyway, I saw it go. And I saw we had grow the boy and have my son. And when we're ready to go, be, go have baby, I'm not a baby hospital, I go. And I take in for a baby. And my son born was nine and a half pounds. Nine and a half pounds. Yes, man. A big baby. Big baby. And I saw now I end up at the hospital. And so on. So I try to tell him, I say, I come back up and they up a foreign here for a while. See, me get my visa and come here for a long time now. My son by me at 16, I come here my son at 1. All right, almost 17. And I saw now my baby father have one girl out in my talk to. And I go up on vocation at the time. And things are good with me and him, you know. And he have the ugly girl that used to go to school with me. But he used to fight me up and bully me. And take stick to me and put my brother back on. And the same girl in my day with. And I come down from foreign. And he come come to me and spend time around me and sit and still go and there with the girl. And I tell him, say, well, I go left him. I never go in bother with the mix up and fight over nobody. And when I left for the van to come back and fire, I see many girls turn up in a square, side to side. And I come back up. And I don't deal with him more so. And when I go to Negro, he come. I call him and tell him to come. Actually, he never come. He never come see his son or nothing. But his mother always take care of his son. And his son and grandmother is tight. And my son live with him after a long time. And go to school him and his mama. And then my son there with them. And tell him pick up with this Indian girl. And him and the Indian girl there. I transfer my son from down the car. I try to chop up my son. And I some fight with some boy. I don't know how come. And he do not fail. So I tell my son to left from above me and go to St. Mary's with my mother house to stay. And at that my son do. And him and the girl down there, and he have the house must rent out to Smaddy. 
Me know how the girl get charged to rent out the place, but she rent out the place to smaddy. Anyway, man, the girl there. I mean, I try to tell him, say, my son want to come back down now. Come take over the house and so. And stay there, since nobody in the house and so. Which we never want to do, because we want to get in a fight with the same people, thing beside that. When I call the woman, tell me, say, well, him the baby father not there now. And she had planned for rent out the house and she can't do nothing for help me. So I never had a fight with her and I was mad. When the same time she said, see me come there. And she put me on the phone with him and me and start to talk. I'm tired, you know. Put me on the phone with him and me and start to talk. And I said, yeah, yeah, what she tell you? And me just tell him, see, you know what, it's all right, boss. It's all right, man. Me buy a house one day with myself and put my son out. You know where you're yourself? And four days later, I get a news. Say, him and his friend get in an argument with his best friend. And the best friend take a machine and shop in it wide open and shop in it open. And he go to public hospital. He stay three weeks at public hospital. No, three days, sorry. Too me tired. Three days at public hospital, he stay. His head swell up, he lose consciousness, him brain dead. And him dead at 36 year old. And that's how I lose my son, father. He died at 36 years old. His best friend take a machine and chop in it wide open. And he go to public hospital and he try and try, but he couldn't make it. And he's dead at 36 years old. So a good thing that him son. He have daughters out there, but he not have no son. And the only son I have, when I have an abortion, is 26 now. And his brother loved the son. His sister loved my son. And them stick by me and help me with my son. And thank God for them. My son is here in America, my citizen. And they help me with a background thing, but they help me need to care him come here. And then stand by me, and he's here right now. He got a job for him, finish up him working in a company, and he's doing good. Driving in like a car, and me ask God to spare him life and protect my son. Protect my son, I love him very much. See, so then kill the poop on him gone. So that's all me lose my baby father.